don't think like dance hall, dance hall had that fun, you know, like back in the days, like, you know, as they would say, there's no era like the 90s era of dance hall, which is considered to be, you know, one of the best. So I was trying to reinvent back that and bring it back into the to the dance hall industry by coming up with this juggling rhythm. I hear that. I hear that. So um, where did you actually create the actual beat from? Like, how did you come about this actual? Beat? No, the, the beat um, in initially was created um, to do a collab with an artist in my camp and Dutcha Valley from your side in Britain, who is a gram, gram rap, gram rapper, and also the brother of Steph London, but that didn't that deal didn't go through. So the with this the it, the beat is an international beat, of course. So I said, okay, since that didn't go through, I'm gonna make make it not going to waste and create something even more huger than what we had in mind. So this is why I said, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it into a juggling rhythm and also have a diverse set of artists on the rhythm. Okay. So this is why I, we have yeah. um, trap music, R and B, and dancehall artists under it. Okay. Um, how did you actually come up with the name Red Rum? Okay. When I first um, let it introduce it to one of the 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 the, the artists under it with interest. He no, said, yo, no. I read him like this. I read, I read him like this, gonna bring back, um, this, this is like a murder in the dance hall genre. And say, you know, I said, no, well, we're not gonna, we're not gonna create no murder, you know? We're gonna do something different. So, and, and right there and then he said, okay. So murder spelled back way is Red Rum. So this is how we initially use that name, Red Rum. Wow, that's very interesting. So the actual red rum words, wow, that's really interesting. Um, spelt backwards is murder. I yes. never knew that. I mean, that's new to me. Um, you also uh, mentioned that, you know, because in England, we had a horse named Red Rum and that, that horse won every race. <laughs> every race that you know you could just bet your whole house on red rum and it would win um i think the, the horses um passed now but it was really a lucky horse yeah mm -hmm. um so as you were saying before when i actually spoke to you was that you actually did your research before you actually used the name red rum you've done your research on that whole name which is good, not much people do that, but I'm hearing that and I'm feeling that vibe there because I actually didn't know that Red Rum spelled backwards was murder. I didn't know that, you know what I'm saying? But you learn something new every day, you know what I'm saying? So um, I wanna ask you, um, the artists that you have on your in your production, um, were they um, you know, picked, handpicked by you or were they, um, you know, did they volunteer themselves or were they recommended by other people? So it's it's all the above. So we, I want a selection and others volunteer and others were recommended. Okay, I hear that. Um, Mystique, would you like to ask Shates a question, couple questions? I know you got some up your sleeve. I know you say. <laughs> as, as always. Hello, Shatez. I miss you. How are you? Pleasure to meet you. I'm fine, thank you. Pleasure Same to meet you. It's a pleasure meeting you also. I just wanted to know how, you know, because producing is quite a task, right, in itself. How mm -hmm. did you become a producer? Was it sort of by experience through the music or you know tell me a bit about that tell me a bit about how this 
Okay, um, I, 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 I do one thing. Is, is there some background noise coming from you, Misty? Please, could you block it out, please? No, I'm, okay. I'm silent today. All right, all right, that's cool. Okay. It could be me. Go on. So it's um, I grew up around a lot of musicians, you know, um, as a youth, and I'm always involved in music, you know, and involved. And also, I always want to contribute. So, and this is my, this is the route I take to, to have my contribution to be a producer and to see how I can also, you know, participate in any way or form of my culture. And especially not living in Jamaica, I still want to play a role. So it wasn't really a hard task, so to speak. It's something that I have a passion for, something I want to do. And, you know, so it, I wouldn't say it's a difficult task it's because when you have a passion for something, you enjoy doing it and you want of to course. do it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I like that. I like that answer. You know, I like that answer. Um, that's that's the only question I, I really I really did have. Um, I like the red rum rhythm is bad. Minala is bad. And you've got some <laughs> Thanks, really man. good artists yeah. on the actual rhythm and it is blazing out there it's blazing out there globally it's yeah. i like it i mean i like it. it's good thank yeah. you thank you thank you just keep up the good spread, work yeah, you know what i mean just keep the progress you know? just keep your spirits high you know what i mean just keep yeah. pushing in the direction that you need to go in and that you want to go in do you know what i mean you know stay with yeah. Us, Miss, yeah bless stay up yourself but you might think yeah, of another me. question just stay with us just stay on the line with us um and um, that's misty british um Chate. she's a um co-host on the show she comes on every week um she gives me a bless lot me. of support so go and big up yourself misty um um i'd like to ask you um how where are we going with this production are we going to expand it are there more things that's going to happen with it or you know are there more projects that you're going to do projects that you're going to do you know where's the red rum going okay there's no there's no ending for the red rum as it relates to promotion and market mm -hmm. at this moment so it's a it's a it's a it's a global reach you know because there's other parts of the world where we want to make sure we have an impact in terms of Africa, you know, the Asian continent. We're talking about we want to go all the way into Australia, all the way into New Zealand. We want to go into the Philippines, Malaysia, you know. So there's no ending as it relates to as how far we're going to go. As long as we can have this project, making people know of it, hearing it, you know, and they can feel it. So there's no ending. As it relates to other projects, of course, we're going to have follow-up. We have a one-drop rhythm that's yeah. going to come out, you know, within the summertime with, you know, some other artists like we're looking at Anthony B, we're looking at Black Hero, mm -hmm. we're looking at um, Phantom Moja, you know. So we have other projects that are pending. And of course, in the interim of that, we're going to put out a few singers as well. Wow, that sounds interesting. I hear that. But that kind of answered my other question because I was going to ask if you had, you know, more things in, you know, setting with another project and so forth. But um, you, there's just, just fill me in on the calculation of this project. So 18 artists, 10 videos already done. Tell me a little bit about the releases, the the um, you always say about the the juggling. So just catch me up on to speed about the juggling. The okay, the first the first song that was released on the rhythm is by Javilani Gunman Party that was released in November, uh -huh. and then shortly after, the second song that was released is Bryka Not at all. So and then the compilation itself was released on the the. 11th of February. So yeah. yes, we have a few artists that already have video like Bryka, Javilani, Maino Marley, um, Interest, Prospect and Matteo Collab. Um, we have Egyptian, we have Munga, we have Diani, um, we have 13, 
you know, all those are the, some of the songs that are video already out on YouTube, you know. Um, I don't know if I'm missing anyone. How many artists did I call just now that are videos? I will so it's out. actually so it is, so it's actually 11, um, 10 videos out. We have a next artist that's coming out with a video in this week. He's not on the compilation itself, but he's also on the rhythm. He's a um, hip hop artist from Jamaica, but based in Antigua. His name is Young Louis, you know. And then we also have other artists like um, JJA, have a, a song Current Affair that was released mm -hmm. last weekend on, on Friday. So there's still more work going on with the Red Rum Rhythm. A lot of artists hearing it, one piece of the action. Like back in the days, you know, when Dave Kelly or Donovan Jeremy, you know, one of them top producers, would put out a, a, a rhythm and then, you know, other artists want a piece of the pie. And that's the that's the whole thing with, with dancehall right now. Yeah. You know, there's a there's a division, so to speak, where mm -hmm. some artists knowing an artist that they're not in a good vibe with on a beat and they frown or they, you know, having a resentment not to go on that rhythm. Mm -hmm. I wonder, you know, with my rhythm, I'm I'm not in a particular camp. Shatest is just Shatest, me and my team. We, you know, we're good with anyone and everyone, mm -hmm. you know, who want to, you know, so no join on board and yeah. yeah. So I'm, 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 I'm not into that segregation or, you know, that's music that's is that's music. It. Yeah. Yeah, man. I feel the vibes. I feel your energy. You know what I'm saying? Your energy is just solid and it's very, you know, it sounds very um honest. Your your energy sounds honest. It sounds supportive. Um mm -hmm. I wanna hit down on when it comes to the beat, you know, the production. How and why? Um, let me put it this way. Out of all the engineers, why Pasadon? What made you actually choose Pasadon to be the engineer of this project? First, he was um, originally introduced to me by one of the artists on the rhythm also, which is Natisha Stream. Um, he did a few tracks for her back in the past. And, um, and then the, that connection like we build it and then um he did a, he started out at um, friends for you studio mm -hmm. he was working closely with boom mm -hmm. you know boom taught him the business and he was also working with ramesh so we we build that and and, and that's how eventually um i make him you know a co-producer to it as well because he mixed and master almost you know maybe about 15 songs on the on the on it on the on the juggling itself so he, he's been a you know a person who has the talent and you know we build that 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 chemistry and that understanding and that's how he is part of the project so um is who else like if you was gonna do um a collab because there is there's no collabs on there, is there? Yes, Prospect and Matthew have a collab. Okay, that, okay, but I don't actually have that tune with me. But um, so you've only got one collab. Yes, yeah, so far. But okay. there's a there's a singer out on the rhythm by Charmelo, and we there's supposed to be that there's a pending there's a, a pending remix to that one with with an artist. With a Latin artist, so to speak, who is a hip hop Latin artist. So we have, as I said, the Red Rum Rhythm, there's no, we can't say, okay, it, there's a cutoff. So there's more work being going on. So there's, there's no more things coming. To it. So yeah. um, the, um, the videos, like um, the tours, um, the performances, how, you know, lockdown has lifted. How are we going to go about um, seeing all these artists performing these actual songs on the Red Run Rhythm? Are you thinking of doing a festival, getting together something where all the artists can come on stage at one time? You know, what, where, where are we going with that? Um, 
Well, that's something that we discuss within within my team. Mm -hmm. There is no set date mm -hmm. or set location, where, but yeah. that's something we definitely have in mind. But as it relates to, you know, that's a futuristic goal, of course. You know, there's no limitations when it comes to Shatters Records and, and, and my team as to, you know, always making an impact in the industry, of course. All right, now. And also was, it's an opportunity to give some of the younger upcoming artists, you know, that, 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 that time to shine and showcase their talent. So of yeah. course, something of, of that nature is pending. So who is the actual youngest one on the, on, on the project? Youngest in age or in terms of in the industry? Well, yeah, that's 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 a good question. I mean, yeah, okay. Um, the youngest um, as in age, and then the youngest as in just coming into the business. It all because, as most musicians, there's no time to put on a musician to say, "How long are you doing music?" Because mm -hmm. some people in music they just born for it. Yeah, you know, some people started music from the age of five. Even mm -hmm. one of you know some of the greatest musicians out there, like Michael Jackson, he was a legend since he was about five years old. When I look like a, another legend like Bob Marley, you know, um, Bruce Springsteen. So in terms of um, upcoming artists or long there in the business, that I couldn't answer. Okay. But as it relates to age group, I would say. Um, um Tiger the Alpha, one okay. of the youngest artists on the All right. Um, so I'd just like you to um tell me um the difference. So you've got a, a, a few artists and they're all different genres, different characters, and how do they come together? You know, I know you kind of answered that question a bit in some of the other questions, but you just want <laughs> I see you need more clarity. To, like, yeah, you need more clarity. In the artist, <laughs> transparency, their so and their the, okay. So um, um for example, if you look at our Egyptian, Egyptian is a, a, a reggae international artist. And this 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 beat is more like um a trap dancer, you know, hip hop star. And if you notice the direction that Egyptian went. He didn't go hardcore dance or hardcore reggae. He did it to he did something to complement the rhythm. You know, it's an international rhythm, and he did something to to appeal to the international audience, of course. Also, when you look at um, another artist like Javinci, Javinci is you know he did something soul with. With a, with a positive message, of course, something that you would expect from a Javinci, even though recently is 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 going into a direction where he's, you know, having the females lowering his way, you know, uh -huh. um, um, another international song on it where you can look at the prospect and Matteo with private show, you know, appeasing, you know, the females as well. Go back again, you look at Diani. So, you know, when it comes to a musician, a beat send different meds to their brain, you know, because remember that beat is telling them something. I didn't expect um, Javinci to go to that all core soulful thing, even though we know that is, that is his nature. I think he would have more go into something similar to passion or to virgin. And then when you look at Diani now, Diani make a positive song. And to me, his song is a great song, which is the Get a Gospel. Yeah. with a great message so i i i it, it everything just connect you know everything just connect with the artist then you have tj you know straight badness interest straight badness tiger the alpha when the girls okay. wait again so you know everything just fall in place so they actually you know what to be quite honest Chattes, even I though i i recommend to 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 I'm sorry um to Tiger to 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 take the route that he take mm. on the rhythm. I was going to ask you that. Did you know? Did you have any input in any of the songs? Like, yes, with my artists present? like Tiger the Alpha mm -hmm. and um and um and um Ricky Flex. Yeah. Um. Yeah. 
I have, I have, you know, recommendations that I tell them it's best to take this route. You know, mm -hmm. some artists is just natural, like you know, prospect having a broad understanding of the music and the the the, the industry of all you know how to market yourself as a dancehall artist because sometimes some of the dancehall artists they limit themselves you know they they're singing songs that's good to hear in the community they're from are good in the dancehall but that songs that song that they're singing is not going to pass norman Mali airport or Donald Sangsa airport it's just within the the, the 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 jamaican you know square miles but Outside of that, you have to make you have to understand that you're a brand. And when you're doing something, you have to do something to reach, you know, globally on the international scene. And you know, Prospect is one of the, the, the artists that understand that and know the depth. 13 again did a, a, a very good song, you know. So I, you know, so some of the artists I I can genuinely applaud them. Monga Honorable, you know, he's singing about something that you know, it's current where people are having aspirations of coming from the ghetto, from the poverty, and, you know, they have the dreams and desires of achieving stuff. A song like that, you know, it, those are like classical song will be even 15, 20 years from now, people will be listening to a song like that. Did um, any of the artists not make it? Like, did they do any tunes, but they just didn't make it on the project? Was there no. any artist? No, every single no. one of them made it on the train. Yeah, um, yes. So that's brilliant. To hear. Any song that was not on the compilation and afterwards, because there's songs that pending that's still not released. That's on it. There's other singers, you know. I have artists like um, um, Thugsy Malone have a song called Antagonist, soon to be released. There's other songs coming out that's not on the the, the compilation itself. Mm -hmm. That are. Mm -hmm. But, you know, um, I think that this is a very good inspiration that you have given us on RTM Radio because I've never seen someone so in tune to their project the way that you're in tune. Trust me. Yeah. Your hands on, brains on, mind on, soul on. And I think that's a good look. I mean, I'm intrigued. I'm really intrigued because most people just go to the studio, do what they got to do, do what, you know, the mix and mastering, release Pepe, it. You see, the, you see the thing is this with music, when you're doing music with a passion from the soul, it's going to connect. Mm -hmm. If you're doing something just to have a good vibe, then that's the results you're going to get. Mm -hmm. You're just going to get a feel good vibe. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, it, it pleases people in the party. They just have fun and after the party, that's it. But when you're doing something mm -hmm. and it, it could resonate with people, it could connect with people, then you're gonna get that result. So everything is about the energy that you put in, you're mm -hmm. gonna get the same result or even a better result than what you put in. I so I came in this with, with everything and I'm giving it everything continuously not myself but my team I can I will never speak for myself but because I did not do this alone everyone contribute to it you hey, know I'm telling you that um the red rum rhythm um it's like I don't know if it's a coincidence but as you said you did research it but the red rum the horse was a long runner a long fur long runner and your project seems that it's going to go on for years the music, we're going to hear it for years and it's going to be in our mind for years. The actual production, the image, the covers, everything you put, you've just mapped it out properly. The first, yeah. The first person to tell me that, that this rhythm will go international and this rhythm will be one of the rhythm that will not be forgotten in dancehall history is prospect and prospect yes yes but, he's the um, first person to tell me that listen to me that was um, my intention initially before prospect even hear the rhythm and it just soothes my heart when he said it yeah 
and you know when you can look at a rhythm like when you can you know you as a youth you're growing up and you can you if you're in music and you don't know the slim thing with him if you don't know the cardi right with him if you wow. there are certain rhythms you don't know that mean you know so the rhythm yes yeah so this is what i wanted i want some you know, people could all say, yo, yeah. when the red rum rhythm, they drop the rhythm that did, but, yeah. and it's still, you know, I like whatever it. day and age they're they talking say. about it. Like, yeah. yeah, she loves it. But hear the cry now. We've got at least five minutes left. And you see Zoom, Zoom loves to ramp with me. They like to cut me off whenever they're ready. They say one hour, but they only give me 40 minutes. They've just given me a 10 minute time. So, I want to congratulate you on your project and I wish you all the best on it. And I know that it's going from strength to strength. Um, who do you want to big up? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Remember, we've only got ideas. 10 minutes. <laughs> Not the word. <laughs> yeah, some of the people I want to big up is my, you know, stand supporter, people like Carissa. You know, big up people like Stubborn God back on the ground in Jamaica. Pass it on, big up yourself, same way. Youth like Was, um, Prospect 13, you know, um, Jojo PR, always giving our best. You know, youth like Bad Breed, you know, Tiger the Alpha, Ricky Flex, you know, the whole two mile crew back to Cockburn Pen. You know, yeah, got, on it, yeah, you see him on the line. Yeah. Boss Queen, yeah, yo, Boss Queen, you're late. Do you want to ask Shatez? Um, I'm going to introduce you to Boss Queen, she does a podcast. If this cuts out, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to know that you've been listening to Shatez. Boss Queen, do you want to ask Shatez a question before we're out, or you just want to hail him up? I'm just hailing him up. But um, because I joined late, obviously, um, I have I don't really know how far you guys have got. Mm -hmm. What you've spoken about already, but mm -hmm. yeah, well, you know, I'll a bit interested to know, you know, a bit about him, mm -hmm. his rhythm, you know, what he does, that kind of thing. Randomly yeah. ask him a question because you, yeah, you, 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 you've seen his bio. Okay, ask I, could him a give you, I could give her something. Okay. Even, yeah, yeah, even wanna... if you, even if. He's he's answered the question already. He can answer it over again, quick and fast. Boss Queen. Yeah, he said he was just gonna give me something anyway. Okay, so sorry. Right away. Yeah, Yardman, of course, based in Brooklyn, New York. You know, you are doing not only dancehall but hip hop, R and B, reggae. You know, the red rum rhythm is something that I, you know, I was explaining to Pepe that like, you know something I put my all in. I want it to be good on in history as one of the best ever into the dancehall. Jana, and you know, and you know, people should go out and listen to it. We have a diverse set of artists, and every song on this rhythm is is something that you can listen to. Some song with substance, you know, not not something that after you listen to it a couple of seconds you just want to issue it and move on to the next one. You know, every song on this one is a classical one. You know, and that was the objective, and 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 not for myself but for my team. We want to put something out there that people will enjoy. Right. So um what what's the who are some of the artists that you have on the rhythm? Okay, I have like um as um I have New York based um artists like 13, Prospect, Matteo. We have um one another artist who is hip hop on um Maino Marley based in Virginia. Then we have Egyptian, we have Monga, we have Diani. We have Javelani, we have Javinci, we have okay. Interest, Tiger the Alpha, you know. I did Ricky think that Clark. I've seen this red, red, red bull, red, red rhythm, red rum, red rum rhythm somewhere. I, yeah, it's a lot to say, isn't it? Yeah. I thought I've seen it somewhere, other than your your post, Peppy. I've seen it somewhere. I'm, I'm, but then I'm thinking, is it just you that I've seen it with maybe a few months back? I don't know, but I've, it's like that. It looks familiar. Yeah, it, yes, it, because I'm we are doing a lot of promotion. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, it's a lot of promotion, boss queen. And you know, sometimes when you buy a car and then you think, oh, I've got this car, and then all of a sudden you see 15 cars the next day like that car. Right. So once you've now spoken to Shatters, 
you're gonna just start mm-hmm. seeing Chate's promotion everywhere. Everywhere. Just, that's how it goes, isn't it? It makes so at sense. At least now you know you're related to it. You know who the product, the producer is. You've spoken to him personally. You've got a more um, connection now. And you can probably, you know, take it in. There's a lot of artists in there. And as he said, they're all different genres. So there's something for everybody. You know, it's not just one thing. There's something for everybody. Nobody can say, oh, there's nothing on there that I like. There's something for everyone on there. So you guys, I like you. Um, Chatez, can you tell mm-hmm. us where you can find your production, where you can find all the tunes, please? The, 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 the juggling is on all digital platforms, uh, Amazon, the Spotify, the Tidal, the iTunes, any digital platform, you, you, can, all, you can go and, and get a copy. Um, for Shates Records, you can find me at um, Shates, S-H-A-T-E-S-S underscore records on Twitter, IG, and it's um, Shates Records on Facebook as well. Boom. You know? I love yeah. that. And you know what? Keep up the good work. And I can't wait to Thanks hear you. Thanks very much. Yeah, I'm loving it. Misty British. I don't know where she is. She looks like she's gone. But hey, Shates. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, um, we're just about to let the artist go. Is there any last words that you would like to say to the um, Shates himself? Yes, um, I want to congratulate you and good luck for the future in um in your productions um that you that you put in also bless up rtm bless up yourself pepe bless up yourself boss queen flavor queen bless up yourself yeah just everybody that obviously knows me blessings to each and everyone have a good evening yeah thanks very much misty blessings to you as well and thanks for your support Yes, you're welcome. Thanks for your support as well. Definitely. I um I I I think I've I, um did I follow you? I think I followed you. I'm not sure. Well, I think I did. Start following when you I post you the post, I think I yeah. Um Shatters, I would mm-hmm. like you to lock this down for me. Um I'd like you to just say the last little words for the show. And I, you know, I want to thank you for coming. You know what I'm saying? I thank you for taking the time. A pleasure, out. and thanks for having me as well. You know, it's a yeah. pleasure being here. I really too, do guys. appreciate it because you're 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 a you're a big boy. You're a big boy. You're a big boss. You know what I'm saying? I feel privileged to have you on my show. I feel <laughs> privileged that you know what I'm saying. I got the Red Rum production man himself here, and I feel blessed. So thank you very much. Just give me some last words for RTM Radio on the Great Show, please. Yeah, big up everyone at RTM Radio. To all the listeners out there, always keep it locked in to RTM. Pepe, big up yourself. Misty, Queen Boss, everyone that's out there supporting the Shatters team on the Red Room Rhythm. We have more coming. This is not the end. You will be always in your face, always in your ears. Me and my team working effortlessly. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna give you some good music. Maybe we are the resurrectors of dance. Or who knows? You will see. We're not gonna do the talking. We're just gonna push the, the, the music out, and then you will be the judge. It's gonna cut off any minute now. So bless up yourself. Nice to meet you. Bless Same here. Blessings. Yeah. yeah. I think it's got less than one minute. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, that was Shatez himself, the producer, the founder, the CEO of Shatez Records, the Red Run Rhythm. Hey, Boss Queen, Mystique International, thank you for tuning in. I swear I look like I forgot to send the link to Flavor Queen, but hey, you know what I'm saying? Auntie and Radio. 89.9. This is the great show each and every Monday. Rose and Shine, big up yourself. All the DJs out there.